host Chris Voss here from thechrisvossshow.com, thechrisvossshow.com. We're going to latest and coolest products on social media and technology. This is uh, from my good friends at AT&T sent this over to me. I really appreciate it because they had one kicking around. So thanks to AT&T for sending this by. Uh, be sure to check out some of the reviews I've done on AT&T's phones and products at hashtag AT&T Mobile Review. Uh, this is from Zag, uh, of course, Zag.com. You can go to Zag.com see the ton of products that they take and make. We reviewed a couple already. And this is the Zag Folio. It's built for the iPad 2 and third generation. Some people call it the new iPad. It's a carbon fiber textured folio with removable Bluetooth keyboard. Pretty freaking awesome. As you can see here, it's got some really good uh, feel to the outside of it. Super thin. And it won the 2012, let's see, Innovations International at CES. So that's really cool. Um, Winning warns at the CES show. Uh, now, this basically gives you a perfect blend of function, art style, removable keyboard, Bluetooth, wireless, available in multi, multiple colors when you go to their site, intuitive built stand, built in stand, I should say, island style keys designed for fast and accurate typing. That's the real key to when you buy uh, a lot of these keyboards, is how good the keys are. Uh, iPad specific keyboard shortcuts. The keyboard works with the iPad in both landscape and portrait mode. It's got an auto on off magnet, of course, for startup and shutdown. That's good to have when you close it so it doesn't run your iPad battery down. Easy access, access to the iPad charging dock, on off button and all the buttons. Rechargeable built in keyboard that lasts months. Wow, how about that? Suede soft, uh, suede like interior lining. So we're going to go ahead and open this baby up, see what's inside. The fun of unboxing. And we're reviewing a number of uh, keypad iPad stands on the ChrisVossShow.com. Be sure to search for those, and you'll be able to uh, see all the different variants that we have out there. So it's got a nice finish on the outside. Uh, it's hard, but a little bit soft, but uh, it definitely is good looking. Looks like we've got a handle here that you can see there, kind of a clasp handle. Uh, I imagine this locks a little bit. We'll have to find out here. Uh, across the top, you have access to your different uh, ports. You can also see they've built a really nice uh, support area around it, so it's just not open and loose where maybe you can wear. It's got some plastic protection so they can take a bit of a beating and keep on ticking. You can also see that up here with the other slots. There's a plastic molding around the case itself so that it kind of protects it and gives it you know, a little less wear and tear that it can take in and uh, have to endure. So let's go ahead and open up. This is what it looks like from the front. You can see it's got a little slip there. Or, I'm sorry, actually. Yeah, that would be the front. Okay, so I do it right. And uh, let's see. Unboxing is always an adventure. So you've got a micro USB cable to take and plug in, charge, all that good stuff. Looks like we've got your standard operating procedure owner's manual. And the, this, of course, is where your uh, iPad is going to take and lay. And boy, wow, that does feel soft. That is very suede-like. Ah, it's beautiful. I'll just keep petting that for a while. So, um, looks like the uh, looks like the uh, keyboard is here. Now, this is the first silver keyboard I've seen. Most all the ones that I've reviewed, I think about four or five keyboards that I've re I've reviewed, they've always been black. So this is really nice. I like the difference. It gives me more of a Mac feel. And as you can see, it even has the Mac buttons and uh, all that good stuff. It's made for both Windows and Mac, it looks like, uh, where they have command keys and then they have the uh, other things that Mac will take and use. So this is really good. I love this keyboard. This is really awesome. It's a great feeling keyboard. It almost does feel like a Mac keyboard. And then across the top here you've got different commands, audio, all that good stuff. You've got a great place here where if you want to put pens or styluses or notes or paper clips or something of that nature, I don't know how paper, well paper clips will stay in there, but you could definitely put some pens in here that would stay in here. Looks like you've got a connect on off button, and it looks like we've got an on switch here that will uh, put us through the status of Bluetooth and all that good stuff. Now, um, this should be removable. Let's see if we can figure out how to remove it. It looks like this is going to take and slide out. Now, most of the ones that we have, they just kind of pop off and they're magnetized. So this is very interesting in their innovative design too, where this is built with a slide mount. Now, you can see here that there's a place to plug in to charge this. Wow, I've got to tell you, it's really, really light. It's almost, uh, it's almost like a couple papers. Um, very light. 
You can see here around the top, there's nothing really much to see. On the back, it's just got a nice black back, but it's uh, got little, some little grommets, of course, to not scar anything. You might put this on. This is really nice. I really, really like this. Most of the keyboards that I've seen, they're removable. They're attached by magnets. You have to pull them loose. They get very loose, and they want to fall out. Sometimes if you don't have your class, your uh, folio class properly, you have to... Uh, they'll tend to fall out, especially after wear and tear of time. But this is really nice. They have it so that it basically slides in and out of the holder so you don't have to you don't have to worry about the keyboard falling out when you're walking down the road. Very cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook this up, we're gonna play with it for a bit. We're gonna come back with an iPad in and let you know what we think. Okay, uh, so what you can see here is we've uh, attached the iPad to the Zag folio and uh, I was incorrect here this happens in unboxings where you could use this for pens or styluses to store while you have it open you'd have to of course put them up uh, or you could use them uh, but what this mainly is designed for is to be able to fold over and house your iPad uh, so it will hold it in that portrait position and it keeps it in the case which is really nice you can see here so uh, you've all got the freedom of being able to remove the keyboard if you so choose or you can leave it in the case and thereby uh, have a really quick easy setup and a way to be able to get it the way that you want it in being able to do that. Um, now uh, the on the uh, typing, typing works really well, the keyboard is awesome, very comfortable, very easy to type on, all that good stuff. It's one of the best keyboards that I've seen on typing. Of course, I'm working around a boom here, so I'm not going to spill very well. But, but it works really well when you can deal with the keys. What I do like is it's got the Mac keys on it that are really clear, uh, so it's great and comfortable for Macintosh and Apple products if you're used to that. So let's take a look at something else. Uh, it has a really nice tight fit with the lockable thing. You can also hear the magnet click that clicks it on and off for us so that we preserve our battery. It does give it a bit of thickness because the keyboard does have some thickness to it. Um, and it does give it a little bit of weight, which isn't too bad. But so uh, you can see how this meshes together in here. And you can see, of course, we've got the clip. It is nice that it has a good clip on it, so it's not going to easily flip open for on you. It does look very beautiful on the front and on the back. And of course, gives you great protection for your iPad. Uh, I really like it. It's a great keyboard. Uh, it's one of the coolest keyboards I've seen, with especially being in silver color and all that good stuff. Be sure to check it out at uh, zag.com. That's zag.com. It's a Zag Folio for iPad 2 and iPad 3. Tell them Chris Voss sent you. Chris Voss tested. Chris Voss approved. Love the products as we have with a lot of the products from zag.com. Be sure to check back and see what we'll be reviewing from them and other companies next. Thanks for coming by.